Okay guys, hello and here's another tutorial on how to set up your A320 Flybox or Flybox Mini um, with the new FBW 5 by wire A320 for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So first of all, we have to go and we have to calibrate the throttle. There's one, one difference to calibrating the throttle from the normal calibration I'm going to show you right now. So then again, you go and move the axis one by one. The axis one by one three times. All the way up, all the way down, activating reversers. You do the same for the other one. Okay, there we go. So we go right with the reversers all the way to the back. So there you can see, guys, the reversers are there. So what we need to do is we need to set the zero exactly in idle. Okay, guys, zero, sorry, the center has to be in idle. So we're going to click next and verify center point. Center point has to be idle. This is going to help you a lot when setting up the detents in uh, FBW. Wait, click next, then we go in where we do the flaps. Okay, so same thing, move the flaps all the way up, all the way down three times, all the way up, all the way down three times, and then we do the speed brakes doing the finger technique. So again, you have to put your finger and move it. Okay, all the way up, all the way down, so it doesn't hit the switch. Okay, guys, perfect. So, once you've done that, click Next. Calibration is complete. Click Finish. And then we check everything up. Everything is working as it should. Beautiful. See? Now, idle is zero, sorry, is in the center, and you have all this travel for the reverse. This is going to help you with fly by wire and any other MSFS 2020 A through 20 add-on. So we click OK apply and then OK. And then we go to the simulator to set it up. Okay guys, here we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and the A320 fly by wire software. And uh, we're gonna set up the axis. First of all, we have to make sure control options. We go to power management, throttle, make sure the axes are set up for the simulator. This is a very important step. You have to set up the axis or it will never work. Okay, guys, also make sure my case sensitivity was working better at 39. You can try up to 50 or even more. It depends on your throttle. You can try it however you want it to be sensitive or the sensitivity you want for your throttle. Okay, so this is what I suggest. Now we go back. And first thing we have to do, we're gonna go to the iPad. So here in the iPad, you know what? We're gonna turn it off, guys. So we can do it from zero. Okay, so we turn on the iPad, okay? We let it load up. And we go down here where it's settings. Click on settings. And you're going to see something that says SIM options. Go to SIM options and detent. Calibrate. So here's where you're going to calibrate your throttle. First of all, you're going to go all the way to Toga. You know, to Toga there. Sorry about that, guy. Sorry about that guys. So we have Toga. And what we do is we say, okay, I'm going to set the Toga. Set from throttle. Set from throttle. There's a dead band here. A dead band is like a, like a no zone. So basically, the dead band helps you. You have a little stuttering on your on your pot or your throttle. This helps you that if you have a small movement, you won't get out of the detent. So make sure you, in this case, you can put 0.02 or up to 0.05. It's more than enough tolerance. Okay, so we set up Toga. Let me go back down to Flex. Make sure you click Flex. Gets green. And then set from throttle. Set from throttle. Then we go back to Climb. We set Climb. Set from throttle, set from throttle, then we go back to idle, hit idle, set from throttle, set from throttle, then we go to reverse, reverse idle, 
So we click reverse idle, set from throttle, set from throttle, and then we go to reverse full. Reverse full, set from throttle, set from throttle. Sometimes it appears something here, so something about the flex and the toga. So we go all the way back up. I think we have to reset the toga here. So let me see if I can set it up here. Go to flex. Let's set it over here. Set it over here. I'm gonna go back to climb. Set the climb. Set the climb. Probably this is gonna be a good example. So it says the flex override. Maybe this tolerance is too big. I'm gonna put zero two. And we're gonna put zero two. And there we go. That was it. The dead band was too big for it. So once they are all set up and, and the program detects that everything is set up properly, it will give you the apply and the save and apply. So you click save and apply. And then you go all the way back to your throttle. There you go, guys. So there you go. We're in idle. Climb. Flex. Toga. Go to reverse idle. There you go. And then reverse full. Idle again, and that is how you, that is how you set up your detents. Okay, so one of the most difficult assignments is the engine master switches. To do this, we're gonna go to Escape, Control Options, and in Control Options, we need to do a couple of things. First of all, instruments and systems, you're gonna see we have fuel and engine instruments. So first of all, we're gonna go and check fuel. And we're gonna see that set engine one fuel valve has to be set, in this case with the number one switch, which is probable it's gonna be, assignment might change in yours, in my case it's number eight. So how you assign here, so we're gonna erase this one here, clear current input. So we're gonna put start scanning, move the switch, Sorry about that. Click or input. Cancel. Start scanning. There's a switch. So it says this is already used somewhere else. I'm going to show you why it's, why it's used somewhere else. So it's number eight for a number one uh, engine master switch. Put validate. Sorry, we have to take that here. Yeah, there we go. We put validate, and there we go. You know that number eight. So fuel system set ng one fuel bulb number eight then we go to engine instruments and in engine instruments you're gonna see eight eight and eight so you have to have toggle engine master one set starter one and set engine master one all set up to the number eight switch which in this case is our engine one throttle okay guys once that is done apply and save we go back and see guys, it's off here, it's on. You have to do the exact same settings for engine number two. Okay guys? Okay, for the engine mode selector, it's very easy. Just make sure you set the following inputs to each switch. So you go to control options. Make sure you go to instruments and systems, engine instruments, and in engine instruments, make sure to set the mode normal, set engine norm mode. To check ignition start, set engine ignition start mode. And for the crank, set engine crank mode. Make sure these inputs are selected, which is the switch of the of the switch in, in your mini. And this is what we're gonna check now. And you can check it out here. See guys? And the engine switches. And there we are. This is how you assign switches to your A320 mini. Okay, so to set up the flaps, it's a little bit easier. Just make sure you go to control options. Control options, you can go to flight control surfaces, secondary control surfaces, and make sure the spoilers and the flaps axis are assigned according to the simulator. 
to the sorry to the control to the throttle tech right so in this case the joystick are axis it's our spoilers and the flaps axis it's uh the l axis then you go check to the sensitivities make sure sensitivities you have at least 50 percent 50 percent here you can you know check your values maybe add more or less depending on your controller but uh this works uh, good so once that is done you go back go to controls and we, we could check the flaps so that's flaps one flaps two flaps three flaps four go to flaps three flaps two flaps one flap zero and then we have a sweet break there you go and it's working perfectly Okay, so this is how you assign the flaps and the speed brakes.